All right, guys, today is the big day. You can't see my beanie properly. I don't really care. Uh, today is the big day. I'm about to leave for PAX South. Um, I'll probably vlog a little bit in the car uh, out of boredom. But, yeah, I'm going to head on out. Bye, Dicky. Say bye-bye. Okay, not while you're doing that. Dicky. Chai-chai. Come say bye-bye. Come here. Come say bye-bye. Come here. Bye-bye. Hello. All right, so... Whatever. Um, I just got off the highway. I'm at a rest stop because I need gas, food, and to pee. Those are the three most important things for a road trip. But I just want to give you, I'm about halfway there. I've been in the car for about four hours. I have about four more hours to go. Um, so next time you see, well, next time you see me, I'll be in Houston getting food at a very special, very important restaurant that I will explain to you guys. So I will see you there. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so we are here at Kenny and Ziggy's New York Delicatessen here in Houston, Texas. So, story time. Why is this place important to me? I'm just going to sit right here in the trunk of my car. Okay, so why is this place important to me? Well, as you guys should know, I'm not 100% sure if I ever told this story, but... I'm virtually certain I have. I was, I lived in New Orleans before. I lived in New Orleans before Hurricane Katrina hit. When it hit, we evacuated the storm like 36 hours before it hit and we went to Houston, Houston, Texas, where I am right now. And we went to Kenny and Ziggy's um, for like dinner sometime the next week. And it was like five or six days after the storm, so people were fully aware of what the storm was doing, and they were also fully aware of how many evacuees were coming to Houston from New Orleans. So we came here for dinner or lunch or a couple times. We probably came here probably four times within that first month, and we got... People paid for our meal like all of us paid for all of our food multiple times let me rephrase that each time in like the first month somebody at another table paid for our meal because they saw us walking in and they saw the Louisiana license plate and they felt so bad for what was happening that they paid for our food and you're probably thinking okay that's really cool but they probably would have done that at other places they probably would have, that's true. But there's one other thing that makes this place really special. Obviously, when we evacuated, we did not have a place to stay because our house was being, you know, hurricaned on, I guess. And the owner of this restaurant, Ziggy, that's his actual name, or it's his nickname, I'm not exactly sure, but his girlfriend had her own apartment, and he had his own apartment, but the girlfriend was always living with him, meaning Ziggy. Ziggy's girlfriend let us stay at her apartment, our entire family, and one of our dogs, because we only had one at the time, for like three months until we could find a place. So this place is extremely important to me, and it really holds a place in my heart because, like, Houston is was always my favorite place that I lived and that level of hospitality is something that I I've never ex I've never experienced that level of hospitality where somebody lets a complete stranger stay in their apartment for three months unsupervised because of what's happening to another city so that's why this place is really important to me. I wanted to share that story with you guys because I think it's a really good story. And I think it's, you know, a way of saying, you know, sometimes you you can have a leap of faith. It's okay. But that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go eat because the food is actually fantastic. Um, I'm going to go eat. I'm, I'm hoping Ziggy's there so I can talk to him. But I will see you guys. All, next time you'll see me, I'll be at my hotel in San Antonio. Bye. 
Hello. All right, so I am in my hotel room. It is like what seven? What time is it? It's seven o four p.m. Uh, I'm gonna see if uh, Mikey and his squad wants to do anything tonight. Um, if not, then the next time you see me will probably be tomorrow at the convention center. Bye bye. All right, it's time. Today's the big day. I'm off. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the PAX Expo Hall. There are uh, an absurd amount of people in here. Just an absolutely absurd amount of people. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go try and find Mikey and see what he's up to. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm just going up and down these aisles because I am trying to find Trevor at the Rivals of Ether booth. Booth? Yeah. At the Rivals of Ether booth because um, Dan Fernas is not here because he's uh, getting caught up on some work, but I want to go say hi to Trevor. So eventually when I find them, I will, uh, I'll be back. I Trevor, say hi. Hi. This is Trevor. He works with Dan for us. Uh, I was gonna go meet Dan, but he's not here. It's very sad. Yeah, it, it's terrible. All right, guys. So interestingly enough, can't find Mikey, but we found somebody else. Hi. How you doing? We found Shino, my new neighbor. What's Bob? And um, we chilling. We chilling. We chill. Hey, Eventually, we will find Mikey. Yeah, Eventually. Mikey is like ghost, but everybody else is over by the Pax Arena playing Smash, which I don't condone it. I I, I, am, I do not support that either. Yeah, that's that's them. I know Fanatex is over there, Operation I Droid, Sacred Fire, Negro, Skywing, all of them. Everybody's trying to be a Smash to Close to top 10. And then fuck it. Well, uh, no, no, John about to get body by top tier Smash player. We found Mikey. Your uh, first round? John, please, top tier respect. It's like top eight. All right, guys, we are here in the arena. We got the operation. We got the guy that just two-stopped me miserably. And uh, Mark over there, he's uh, doing the most. And then we got a nester. All right, ladies and gentlemen, lucky legends of all ages, genders, sexes, sizes, and other denominations therein. We are currently here at Pax Out Day Two, and we are on the hunt for Glitch X City and Alex, aka Feels Rad Man, aka Rad Puppy, aka Pepperonis, aka Radadactyl, aka Haxadactyl. She, she, she goes by a lot of names. But we're hunting and eventually we will find our prey. Uh huh. Uh, that's... Say hi, Noel. Hi, Noel. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? We got the there? same camera. Really? Same same camera. Yep, same camera. I got the same. I'm asking. Hi, Noel. No, because everybody's going to be out. I'm asking. Where Let's see. Out? Sound yeah. off. We got Noel. We got Shino. We got Mikey. We got Sacred. Oh, I thought it was we got, got Fan Attacks yeah. over there. We got Mark. We got Ultranek, we got Shofu, aka. No, I live in New Orleans. He goes by everything, just aka. <laughs> Scared. Fuck. As soon as I saw that art, I was like, fuck. I don't want to be that person. What? You can't, 
cannot mess with somebody. It's a 3D. It's not like a, a piece of paper. Oh, he can literally wipe that shit off. Oh, no, what? It's, it's a sharpie. sharpie. It's, it's not permanent. Up, no, it's not. You know what it says it's on the box? It says permanent marker. Yeah, that shit's not permanent. See, he ain't scrubbing hard. Bro. Probably so. She was looking at us. She was so fucking She was so fucking crazy. Her face was all tight. <laughs> she was just like, what? And like, watch me get home. He gonna show up. Nigga, like, him? Pull him? Now, I know you see this nigga everywhere. No. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that shit too. Like, he has no idea what's wrong. He can take the shit off. Okay, then, then the signature's not on his 3DS anymore. So you fucked up. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't, what is I can't wrong? argue. It's just like, ain't nobody shit on his shit And then he now. crossed it out and started again. You have to make, you have to make the messed up one look as good as possible. Yeah, I didn't feel to be the first Kobe to fuck up a signature. I don't give a fuck. That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Where's Sky with Wendy? No, I've been chilling. He down over there. Over there. Why are you judging at all? I just said that phone case. Don't let him sign it. Hey, don't let him drop don't your phone. If he drop your phone, as a Zoo this man if he drops it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get the phone case. Don't let him sign nothing. That don't mean nothing won't crack. Yeah, I'll flatten that fucking screen. I'm telling you. All right, son. He's just like, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, don't dip a dumb head. <laughs> <laughs> what? Get it. Let's get it. Bro, you can't do it. I'm not acting like this dude. I'm not acting like me, all right? I'm me. Who are you? Put your ass up, Chino. You know, Chino. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look what we found. Nice. And you know, if you don't know who I am, I'm Sunny. Every, trust sunny me, day. everybody knows who you are. Oh. <laughs> everybody knows who you are. Gotcha. And no. mine turns around too. Oh, it's fancy. Yeah. Yeah, the microphone sells it for sure. Uh-huh. That's nice. Look at him, be like, no, this is not no amateur. This is a pro. Yeah. Oh, no, I think all of us need to walk around like this the whole time. Uh. Whole time. We got this. Wait, except it's gonna end up like this. Total white girls? Ah! Total white girls? Yeah, definitely. I would be the one to fall down. I haven't been up there yet. I thought you were gonna walk into that. No! I know where I'm going. Or at least I do. Johnny. What? Do you I'm, need something? I'm totally not zoomed in on your face right now. No! You know, like, there's gonna be like 20 or so people that'll screenshot that and use it as some sort of. Oh, yeah, like that. Like, like something that actually screwed me up about my flight is because we went to Denver, so there was a time change. Oh, yeah. And then I came back into the same time zone. So it totally screwed with, like, how I was thinking. Of, I thought I was going to be late for my flight because, you know, we only had, like, 15 minutes until, um, like, on my phone it said we only had 15 minutes until my flight. I'm like, crap, there's no way that I'm going to be able to sprint over there at this time. But then, like, when I... I don't feel like I, you sprint ever. No. Oh, no. Nothing more than this speed right now. But anyway, like, can't, like, like in short bursts, you'll go like this fast. Or I'll like oh. skip. No, no, it, no, no. It's like when your upper body is running, but your legs don't change. Yeah. Like when you're perfect. You're, I'm gonna go on a limb and say Hufflepuff. It's not bad. What are you I can do the whole Harry Potter thing and not slithering. Not slithering. So, Sammy, digging your hat. What? How are you doing there? Doing well. It's l surprisingly heavy. It's leather. I, I can tell. She didn't do that yet. I'm pretty sure she had that. Look at that. Why do you think I brought us here? <laughs> it's really warm outside. It's Texas. Yeah, seriously. 
I know. Yeah, but, like, it is literally the Antarctica in Minnesota right now. Here, get up. Why? I'm relaxed? Everybody needs time to relax. Hi. What's up? Hi. That's my thumb. It is your thumb. That was my thumb. I didn't realize. We're here at waterfalls of waterfalliness. True. The waterfalls of gravity. The waterfalls of gravity. Hey guys, so this is going to be uh, like the end of the vlog. I kind of just want to show you guys the stuff that I got. Um, I'm actually in my bed at my house, like back in New Orleans. Um, and this, the, it's not like in order or anything like that, but uh, Abdallah Smash signed uh, a business card for me, which I really appreciated. It was really cool of him. And it was actually funny. I ran into him completely at random on the last day of PAX at like 4 p.m., like an hour before I left. And he was just super nice and really down to earth. So I I was just like, you're Abdallah. And he's like, yeah. And that's pretty much how all of that went. Uh, so he signed a business card for me, which was really cool. Um, these are two uh, Loot Crate... I'm just going to call them loot crate models because that's basically what they were. Um, we got the operation. Uh, he he gave me his business card as well. But most of what I got from there was I was able to do a lot of networking with game developers and stuff like that because... There's only so many content creators at um, things like PAX, but there's a lot more, there's a lot of game developers and a lot of uh, indie game developers especially. Uh, like this is for Megacopter, um, that was one of the indie games being developed. Um, Engage, uh, the guys there were really, really cool. I'm definitely going to stay in touch with them because I love how the game looks. Um, this is uh, Natalie's card. She was one of the developers. Well, not a developer. She was a... Uh, she's an artist for one of the indie games that was there. Um, this one here is for R&D Labs. It is... I, I honestly can't remember what it's for. I think I remember what it's for, but I don't want to say it and be wrong but i'm pretty sure it was for a game called oh my god what is it called it was a game that it took place in florida right outside jacksonville and i can't remember what it's called for the life of me but i'm pretty sure that's what this was for um filthy casual uh you're gonna see me wearing their stuff uh on the channel a lot Basically, um, <laughs> I just saw this. Instead of putting an ad symbol, they just did that. <laughs> but um, I love the sentiment behind their stuff, which is, you know, in essentiality, it's saying for the worst gamers who have the most fun. And uh, yeah, that's me. Um I got this from the Stories booth. Uh, Stories is a really cool uh, game for PS4, and it's going to be on uh, PC, Mac, Linux, I believe. But, um, yeah, it was just a really cool game. When it comes to games, I'm big on uh, art style. That's a big thing for me. Um, this game right here, uh, there's a code on the back for the game, which is why I'm not showing you the back. But... Uh, this guy right here, Patrick, was, uh, he's one of the voice actors for the game. I got his card. He was very, very nice. Everybody there was nice. Stride PR, um, Morgan Berry, she was also with that game, uh, the name of which is escaping me at this time. Um, there was Prologue Games, another cool group. Black Ice is something that you're going to see, or that you would have seen on the stream yesterday. Um, this is one of those games that 
As soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, I want this. We got some other stuff here. We got Katie Soft Studios with Jonathan Stouffer. Again, very, very nice. Everybody, th like I said, everybody there was nice. Um, this was from Game Wisp, which is a, I think it's like an alternative subscription service, something like that. We have a, a card from Evolve PR. Um, YouTube.com slash Rage Stew. Uh, I ran into him the last day of fact. He was wearing a giant... He was basically wearing a morph suit. He was basically wearing a, a morph suit with the YouTube logo on the chest. I'm currently wearing my Detroit Steel Wing shirt. Crimson, I hope you are seeing this video as proof that I do, in fact, have one. Even though I'm sure you believe me. But... Uh, you guys already saw my post-pack thoughts. Um, you saw those on Monday. Um, I'm recording these on the same day. But, oh, one other thing that I got, uh, was these. I got myself some gunner glasses, because when I'm editing late at night, these will help. Um, and, you know, gotta go with green. But when I'm editing later at night, these will help, uh, from the eye strain, mostly. Uh, I know PK Sparks has a pair of these. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go keep editing videos and piece this vlog together and all that sort of stuff. But, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's very much greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get a bad best luck out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.